okay let's fetch our current login user detail so go to go to auth service so control p and let's search for auth service ts and let's add here me method return type observable of api response of type user let's create user.es model go to model and let's create new file user.ts export interface user let's declare some property here i have id string profile picture string photo url string full name string is online boolean username string connection id string and last message string on read count number and is typing boolean so this is our user interface so let's close it and let's import control dot import from model as user so here let's return this dot http client dot get of type user let's pass here base url and this dot base url and slash me let's see our endpoint or go to account endpoint and we have slash me api account slash me so here is slash me and let's add five let's tap our response response goes to let's check if response dot is success okay uh, let's make it api response of type user so let's say response is success then let's set local storage so local storage dot set item user and let's say comma json dot stringify stringify let's say response dot data save it and go to login component ts we have already working on login let's call here this dot auth service dot me and let's subscribe it save it so first of all let's rename this file auth service service to auth service let's do f2 and let's remove this one and enter and let's remove this service we need to make auth service let's remove this auth service and remove this service and let's remove this service here and make it service save it close it and let's run our application well let's go to api project and dot net was run and click this plus icon and go to client client npm start let's click this link control click let's go to login and let's open developer tool let's go to console first of all let's remove this token right click and delete and let's click this console and log in our application go to browser open database and find user to login click hrdb and open explorer we can see here hrdb let's click this asp.net users and let's test for this email okay we have login successfully so we can see here 401 unauthorized request so we can see in api slash account slash me in point so we need to send here authorization header for this we can use uh, interceptor but for this course i am going to use here just authentication header we can send authorization header from here let's say headers and here let's say authorization this is the key of header and let's say value bearer local storage dot get item just take token from here okay let's make a reusable get access token method here let's say get access token return type of string or null 
return local storage dot get item this the token if you don't have token then just return empty string let's make it get method and instead of calling here just say this dot get access token go to browser and let's test again so let's click this one we have already logged in so let's go to application and let's clear this token for now let's refresh it again go to login and let's login for test user at gmail.com and let's enter password here login you can see we have successfully logged in token and user data so we have one more problem here we have already logged in but if we try to access login so we are navigating to login so how to prevent this for this we need to make so let's implement guard so go to vs code and let's go to auth service first and let's declare method that return is user currently logged in so let's say is logged in and return type this will return boolean and return local storage dot get item let's say negate this result this retrieve the value associated with the key this the token this means here we have token from the browser local storage if the key does not exist or the value is null the method will return null and let's create guard so go to terminal ctrl z and let's click this plus icon go to client and let's generate uh, guard ng g guard inside inside guards let's say login guard and skip test enter let's select can activate so let's press space and enter our login guard is created inside guards here we can see login guard and let's implement our logic here let's check if inject auth service dot is logged in if user is logged in then to user is currently logged in so let's return false otherwise let's return true so let's go to app route and add here can activate and add here guard login guard save it let's copy this one and paste it here save it go to browser and let's just try to go to login we can see we immediately navigate to home page and let's try for register so this also retired to home 